Uber, Bitcoin, self-driving cars. Combine those three together, and you have the self-owning taxi. A car that is a corporation that owns itself, pays for the car lease, the car insurance, and the gasoline from the revenues it makes, giving passengers a ride, and there's not a single human involved in that matter. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to eight percent of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity. And as an American, you know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, oh, people are investing it f for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index, in an ETFs are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be, will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial uh, seller, we all have our, our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Basic. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system is kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Teacher, and guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances 
and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New World Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. Remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. So we know the massive magicians are about to set up that distraction. So therefore, they can cut rates while we still have inflation. And in the fourth quarter, once the election is over, we know the movie begins. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now we have Bitcoin and crypto pulling back. And guys, we know we have options today. And I advise you yesterday because we were pulling back yesterday. It wouldn't be as bad today. Remember, guys, it's like clockwork. And we have the stock market pulling back. We know the narrative are these job numbers. Guys, the economy is bad. But remember, this is part of the plan. They know unemployment is about to skyrocket. These small and medium-sized banks are going to disappear. That means that these small businesses are going to disappear. And that means we're going to have a lot of unemployment. But remember, the NWO calls the problem, wait for the reaction, and run in with a solution. And what's that solution? The machine and digital assets. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we have MicroStrategy plans a $2 billion equity offering to buy more Bitcoin. Also, we have Galaxy Digital second quarter net loss widens as crypto market retreats. And of course, with stocks and cryptos, they go up and down. But this market now is controlled by an algorithm. And of course, you got to add in the geopolitical events. But remember, guys, it's all rigged. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we have yield rates down and we have the dollar down, which we know the stock market should be pumping. But only thing you have to do is add in that Japan equation. Remember, they raised rates. They got all this debt. And while the United States was raising rates, Japan was taking the hit. Now that Japan is starting to normalize, this whole global economy is about to be destroyed. But we know that's the plan. So therefore, they can bring in this fourth industrial revolution. Remember, the Japan leaders were brought to California to plan out the fourth industrial revolution. The robots, algorithms, and drones, and I have it coming out the horse's mouth. Guys, you know, I don't do conspiracies on this channel. I bring it to you from the horse as whether you want to hear the truth. Remember, I give you the truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, the truth hurts, but it sets you free. And then, guys, we have volume and crypto right now up. We have Tether and USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at $348 billion yesterday. Make sure you're pulling that on a daily basis during the week. And guys, we see yield rates plummeting. That means that in September, we stay at where we're at right now. We stay with these yield rates. We have the 10-year yield sitting at about a 3.84. That means that we can sit around the same area. That means it's telling you the Fed is going to make more than a 25 basis point cut in September. And remember the crypto teacher told you. 
but we have to wait over a month for that to happen. And that means these interest rates are going to continue to destroy this economy. And we talk about the global economy, but of course, the world reserve currency, which the United States hold, has been destroyed. So these emerging markets can rise. The BRICS nations, along with that digital you want. But before that can happen, we know the clash has to come together. Anthony Sutton mapped it out. And we're living in some crazy times right now. Remember, guys, we may understand it's a movie, but you have billions of people that don't. So it's becoming their reality. And it's going to affect generations. Guys, we've seen this time and time again throughout history. That's the reason why the Hegelian dialectic, the divide and conquer, is undefeated. People want to choose a side and while they're choosing that side, that becomes their reality on something that's not real. And that gives the NWO to build on their agenda. So while you're distracted on the agenda, on social media, fussing for hours and hours, the NWO is building at the same time, controlling your life. And some people live to be 50, 60, 70, 80, and not understand they never made a decision on their own. They were all NWO decisions. They just had a choice between either or, but the NWO set those choices in front of them. So when we look at the Middle East, they're going to be affected for generations. But remember, it was all planned out. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have Spot, Bitcoin, Ethereum, ETS. We have BlackRock, Fidelity, and Grayscale right now all up and we have ethereum inflows turned positive but we had grayscale with over two billion in outflows and guys we know that's all part of the plan because we know who's going to benefit blackrock and fidelity now we have arc invest sell 6.9 million of his own spot bitcoin etf and we've seen the movie before now, getting over into a little crypto news, we have Hong Kong's Food 2 launches Bitcoin and Ethereum trading and using Alibaba and NVIDIA shares as a carrot. But don't forget, nothing goes on in Hong Kong without China. Remember, Hong Kong is China's straw man. Now, we have Bybit withdrawals from France due to regulation. And remember, exchanges are nothing but banks and these big banks are going to take over digital assets, trading, and storage. And remember the crypto teacher tells you. Now we have X suspends account that let users launch a meme coins with a tweet. And we know this industry is going to become more and more seamless. And if you have a business mind, you definitely are going to be able to benefit because you're not going to need a lot of labor. Remember, this technology can be used for good or evil. And then lastly, guys, we have Crypto Lender Linden handed out $1.16 billion worth of loans in first half of 2024. And remember, guys, the whole legacy market is just being tokenized and put on blockchain. All the products that we have in the legacy market will be in the digital asset market. Loans are not going anywhere. Yes, the fees are going to be lower, but businesses and people are still going to want to take out loans, whether it's for their home, whether it's already assets that they have that they don't want to sell because it's going to be worth more in the future so they can just leverage or take out equity. But we can look at this labor market and see the fourth industrial revolution is right around the corner and that's why i told you have fun this summer but stay in the lab because the movie is about to get to the climax and remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the nwo it's all planned out but that's all i have for you don't forget about the books crypto teacher and the new world order book plus the three kids books it's time to re-educate also new to cryptos coinbase bitch you bonus do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get on stocks to see where the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? 
drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. Most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.